Hello guys, I am Rika May Pulod. And I am Paul Mark R. Apostol. Your presenter. He is Alfonso Bertulion, one of the pioneers of criminology. He was born on April 23, 1863 and died on February 13, 1914. He was the chief of criminal identification for Paris Police. He is also known as the father of scientific detection. He developed the identification system known as anthropometry or the Bertillon system that came into wide use in France and other countries. Bertillon was born in Paris. He was the son of Louis Adolphe Bertillon and Zoe Bertillon. Jacques Bertillon, his brother, Louis Adolphe Bertillon, his father, and Zoe Bertillon, his mother. After being expelled from the Imperial Lycée of Versailles, Bertillon drifted through a number of jobs in England and France before being conscripted into the French army in 1875. Several years later, he was discharged from the army with no real higher education, so his father arranged for his employment in a low-level clerical job at the Prefecture of Police in Paris. Thus, Bertillon began his police career on March 15, 1879 as a department copyist. Being an orderly man, he was dissatisfied with the ad hoc methods used to identify the increasing number of captured criminals who had been arrested before. This together with the steadily rising recidivism rate in France since 1870 motivated his invention of anthropometrics. His road to fame was a protracted and hard one as he was forced to do his measurements in his spare time. He used the famous the Sante prison in Paris for his activities, facing jeers from prison inmates as well as police officers. Bertillon began his career as a records clerk in the Parisian Police Department. His obsessive love of order led him to reject the unsystematic methods used to identify suspects and motivated him to develop his own method, which combined systematic measurement and photography. In 1883, the Parisian police adapted his anthropometric system called Signalytics or Vertilionich. Vertilion individuals by measurements of the head and body, shape formations of the ear, eyebrow, mouth, eye, and etc. Individual markings such as status and scars and personality characteristics. The measurements were made into a formula that referred to a single unique individual and recorded into cards, which also bore a photographic, frontal, and profile portrait of the suspect. The cards were then systematically filed and cross-indexed so they could be easily retrieved. In 1884, Bertillon used his method to identify 241 multiple offenders, and after this demonstration, Bertillonage was adapted by police forces in Great Britain, Europe, and the Americas. But Bertillonage was difficult to implement the measuring tools needed frequent recalibration and maintenance. The process was labor intensive requiring rigorously trained, highly motivated, and competent technicians, and was expensive. When individuals were measured several times, even well-trained officers made their measurements in different ways and sometimes failed to obtain the exact same numbers. Measurements could also change as the criminal age. Eventually, police department began to abandon Bertillonage in favor of fingerprint, identification although some elements such as the inventorying of basic information and features, scars, tattoos, and the mugshot were retrained. One of Bertillon's most important contributions to forensics was the systematic use of photography to document crime scenes and evidence. He devised a method of photographing crime scenes with a camera mounted on a high tripod to document and survey the scene before it was disturbed by investigators. He also developed metric photography, which used measured grids to document the dimensions of a particular space and objects in it. By the mid-1890s, Bertillon had achieved international celebrity through articles in popular publication 
exhibitions, displays, and international expositions. He fought vociferously against those who advocated fingerprint identification but eventually incorporated fingerprinting into his system, albeit grudgingly. He also worked to further the development of other forensic scientific techniques, such as handwriting analysis, galvanoplastic compounds to preserve footprints and other impressions, ballistic and dynamometer which measured the degree of force used in breaking and entering. Alphonse Bertillon was a French law enforcement officer and biometrics researcher, a pioneer in the arena of forensic science and is known as the inventor of the first scientific method of identifying criminals known as anthropometric or Bertillon system of identification. The system incorporates a series of refined bodily measurements, physical descriptions, and photographs. It is used in describing individuals on the basis of a catalog of physical measurements including standing heights, sitting height, length of trunk and head, distance between fingertips with arms outstretched, and size of head, right ear, left foot, digits, and forearm. It was used as a means of identification because the human skeleton is unchangeable after the 28th year and because no two individuals are alike in all dimensions. This method of identification received prominence in 1800s. Anthropometry was the first scientific system police used to identify criminals. Until this time, criminal could only be identified based in eyewitness accounts which are known to unreliable. However, the method was eventually supplanted by fingerprinting though it, remain, it remains an excellent means of furnishing a minutely descriptive portrait valuable to investigators. He is also the inventor of the mugshot. Photographing of criminals began in the 1840s, only a few years after the invention of photography. Here are the, some examples of mugshot photography of Alfonso Bertillon. And again, I am Rika May Pulod. And I am Paul Mark R. Apostle.